Look at all these tarpon down there. Just think the boys will be down there in a few minutes. <laughs> they say they can reach up to eight feet, 280 pounds. And they can live 30 to 50 years. All right, the boys are getting ready to check in for their sea trek. The boys are getting geared up. So pretty cool. So I'm a little excited about it. Um, I was talking to um, one of the instructors that's going and it looks like it might just be the boys. So I explained to him about Andrew and um, he said he'll keep a close eye and stand right beside him. So um, I kind of like that it's just the two of them going that way. Um, there's two divers that'll go down with them. Um, so I feel really secure about that. So we'll be watching them from under the ocean. Open, Mom. We're not moving. It, feels, it looks like we're moving. Like we're on a cruise ship, but we're not. Are you scared of it? He's gonna be a here, kind of hovering around and making sure we're staying safe. Okay. And then he's also gonna have a camera. I think lots of photos and videos while we're down there. Okay. Um, so John, John's gonna be the most important person. So John is gonna be in charge of putting your helmets on and off. And then he's also going to be in charge of making sure your air is on and flowing the whole time you're down there. So um, I'll introduce you to John in a minute. He's already met Raul, I think. So um, today we're right off of Cokie Point Beach. There's a reef that runs up this little side of the channel. And that's where our trail goes. So we're going to see all kinds of cool little reef fish, good corals, especially like brain corals, which have that like maze-like pattern on them. Um, and then right now, this time of year, we get a ton of these little tiny silver set. It's just a really silver, shiny fish, and it brings in all sorts of bigger fish to like to eat them. So it's really cool. You'll see some, uh, there's what are called bar jacks. We got two blue stripes going down, one on top, one on bottom. If you watch those guys, they'll start chasing them around trying to eat them, so it's pretty fun to watch. Um, we're going to get down to about 20 feet max depth. We'll be in the water for about 20 to 25 minutes. So uh, these are the helmets we're going to be wearing. So these helmets weigh about 75 pounds on the surface, but in the water it's only going to feel like 15 pounds. It'll sit nicely on your shoulders like a backpack, so it should be fairly comfortable while we're down there. But all that weight is meant to keep us flat on the bottom. So with that in mind, let's keep our feet flat, heels down. It'll give us good balance and stability while we're down there. We'll make sure there's no trips, falls, anything like that. There's also a handrail that goes all the way around. Keep at least one hand on that handrail. Once again, we want to make sure there's no trips, falls, anything like that. We want to make sure we're standing upright for the whole time. Okay. In the back of these helmets, this is where a blue air hose is going to hook up. So air hose is going to provide you with three times as much air as you actually need to breathe. So there's going to be plenty of air constantly flowing into the helmet. So just breathe normal. Nice, easy breaths. And it'll help keep us calm and relaxed while we're down there. So all that extra air pushing the water level down in the helmet. It's going to keep that right about there. So you've got your shoulder, neck area. So your face and your head should stay dry. But these helmets are open in the bottom. And you need to keep them nice and upright, just like that. And that will keep that water level right there. Now if you do look down, well now that water level goes across, you get a little bit of water in the front. If that happens, all you have to do is stand back up straight, and that water level goes right back down to that shoulder chest area. So if you do happen to taste salt water on your lips, not a problem. It just means you're leaning forward. So just stand back up straight. And that water level goes right back down. All right? So change of plan. So there was a group that came in right as they were about to go, and they allowed them to. So um, there's, it looks like there's going to be a group of probably eight. But the gentleman said that he'd make sure that he was right there with Andrew. So I still feel better about that. So we are 26 minutes late for their um, excursion, but um, they're about to go under.
put them in your pocket. All right. Oh my gosh. There's Andrew. Can't believe he did it. I was so nervous when they put him under. There he is. Hi, Drew. <laughs> All right. I got real nervous. Uh, he, he was terrified, but he did it. He's so brave. I think I'm, I'm shedding a tear. There's Dyson. All right. Look at these fish. Oh my goodness. There's Dyson. Oh my gosh. There they go. Oh boy. I am so proud of them for being so brave. <laughs> I know. How awesome. I am so proud of him. Drew just has to make sure he keeps his head straight. <laughs> they are so, so brave. Look at Andrew. I'm so proud of him. They give him hand signals. So Dyson's telling, asking, is he okay? Drew looks terrified though, but he's being so brave. Look at all those fish around him. Oh my gosh. Well, I do look terrified. <laughs> he's doing good. He just needs to hold on. Let's see what's going on. There, he's walking this way. Good job, Drew. Why, you can't even hear you. Good job, guys. Why, I can't even hear you. I phone. know. They'll see this video, though. I'm so proud of him. Look. Look at Dyson. <laughs> that is amazing. Dyson keeps checking on his brother. Is he okay? <laughs> he cold man. That's what man, that's what I do when I'm cold. Like, oh, do that. Looks like Drew's lip is quivering. He's nervous. <laughs> you need the fish Look at those huge fish up there.
so nervous. Look at Andrew. And Dyson. They're the first two out there. My heart hasn't stopped pounding yet. <laughs> Can't wait for him to come back up. Look at all these fish. So me and Joe, we're gonna go see the dolphin show. We're gonna have to wait for the one o'clock show because I'm like a nervous wreck while they're down here. We were gonna leave them, but I have to keep an eye on them. So I don't think we'll be able to see them the entire time. They'll be underwater for about 30 minutes. Um, and I don't think we'll be able to see them the entire time. But we'll stay here as long as we can. It's amazing. Look, Dyson keeps checking on him. He's asking if he's okay. I love that he's checking on him.